The Browns have won exactly one playoff game in two decades. And who could forget that win in Pittsburgh two calendar years? The trivia question that will be forever asked in Cleveland. Who coached the Browns in that game? Remember Kevin Stefanski was on the couch? Mike Prefer will always be a name remembered in Cleveland for that. But there will be no more memories. Cameron Justice tells us the Browns firing their now former special teams coordinator today. I love it here. I'm under contract. Uh, I don't plan on going anywhere else. I'm from Cleveland. I want to help Cleveland win a world championship, and that's why I'm here, and that's my focus. Several weeks ago, special teams coordinator Mike Prever was hopeful that he would get another season coaching with the Browns. But after a roller coaster season with his special teams unit, from blown coverages to inconsistent kicking and punting, the team felt that change was due. The Browns announcing they had fired Pree for Tuesday with a statement from head coach Kevin Stefanski saying he had decided to move in another direction in the best interests of our organization, thanking Prefer for all his contributions while leading the Browns special teams units for the last four seasons. At the end of the season, Stefanski didn't give assurance to Prefer's future in Cleveland, a telling sign for Tuesday's move. Admitting in January there was room for improvement within the unit. With all the coaches, I haven't had a chance to sit down with every coach, so um, those are all things that we're working through. I thought there were some really good moments and then areas that we really want to get better. Sources confirmed to me that the Browns have requested interviews with Colts special teams coordinator Bubba Ventrone and Giants special teams assistant coach Anthony Blevins for the job. Now while the Browns have some coaching holes to fill, they've also added a coach to the staff, hiring Utah State defensive coordinator Efren Banda as their new safeties coach.